gray eagle, gray condor hunt for the task of trying to retrieve the fish, the pearls, the feathers for their two little ones. And then you see the father and the young family who come to you for their last hunt to save the devil. But you... So having chosen my place, open the directions, now I'm going to open my own personal sacred space over this piece of land that I've chosen, this spot that I've chosen or that chose me. And the way we do that, we start at the heart and then we reach up into our eight chakra, that golden orb that sits above our head. And we open that down around us. We call this our Vira Kocha, source of the sacred. When we open our Vira Kocha, we have access to the luminous beings, the helpers from other realms, and from those who want to assist us on our journey. Then I'm going back to my heart and opening up my Vira Kocha one more time. And this time I'm opening it down around the piece of Pachamama that I'm going to be working on. And so me and this sand painting are held in that sacred place. I've gathered some sticks along the way. And the first thing I want to do is to make a circle on the earth. And you want to make sure that all the edges are contained so that the, the borders and the boundaries are well held. Of course, you're going to leave your sun painting out here on the earth for maybe two days, maybe three days. And you want to make sure that your boundaries are well in place. And then the next thing we do is we decide. And I already decided before I got here what it was I wanted to work with because one of the things that I am so with is that I, I miss the connection. I miss the connection with people. I miss sitting in circle with real people. Everything's being done on the internet. We're, we're being asked to disconnect. So um, personally, I find this very, not just disconcerting, but disheartening. So I'm gonna start with that. So I take a stick and it can be anything, but it needs to be combustible. But a stick is a good place to start. And I'm gonna blow. That feeling of being disheartened. And I can feel it right here in my heart. And so I'm going to place that down there and now I'm going to follow that feeling because as I'm feeling that in my heart, what, what's coming up is real upset. A lot of grief and sadness. So that's going in as well. Ah, yes. So I picked up this. This is a dead leaf. Everything is dying on it. The leaves are dead. The tree has given it back. And I, I, I want it to represent for me the things that are dying within me, the old ways of being, the old paradigms, the old, the old, uh, the old ways of doing things. Because I don't think there's a going back to normal. I think we have to give up the old, old ways we thought life would be. And so these old leaves on this twig really represent that for me. Everything's dead. And we need to give that back to the earth, just as the trees give that back to the earth. And as I do that, um, what's coming up in me is a lot of grief, grief and sadness. And this twig that I just picked up has got the bark peeling off. So it's like, let's peel off those old parts that no longer serve. Peeling off, like the serpent that sheds her skin 
just letting things go back to the earth, moving out of the old paradigm. And I'm beginning to feel this in my belly. A real feeling of loss. Loss of a dream maybe, loss of how I thought things were going to be. Loss of the past, loss of my extended family. I haven't, this is the first year in 20 years that I haven't been away and spent time with what I call my extended family, my teens in Romania and UK, and the people that mean, mean a lot to me, not, not just my extended family, of course, but my own family. Sometimes I, I do also feel angry. This twig really represents that. It's like all these little <laughs> quicks coming off. It's like how I could easily let myself go into rage and anger and frustration. <sighs> oh, and, and all the ways I'm telling myself it shouldn't be like this. We shouldn't be doing this. We shouldn't be saying yes to wearing masks. We shouldn't be saying yes to distancing ourselves, not just socially, but emotionally as well. I really don't want to keep that in me, but it's there and that's what I'm with. <laughs> And this one's the same, this twig, it's got lots of spiky bits. <sighs> spiky. It's how I feel sometimes. <sighs> oh, and as I connect beyond the spiky, angry bits, what I'm also feeling is that conflict between doing as I'm told. You know, we all learned as we grew up, do as you're told, or I did anyway. Most of us learned that, do as you're told. <sighs> that compliance that we've all gone along with because we want to be loved, we want to be liked, we want to be approved of, we don't want to be different, but we are different. Every single one of us is unique. And we need to be. And there's a great big stick here. And the courage that we need in our hearts, courage that we need right now to say no to what doesn't serve us. No. And have that courage. Courage to be different, courage to be yourself, courage to be unique. And I'm calling up that in myself, in my heart, so in my belly. And up here in my throat. So I'm following those feelings that are coming up in my body and I'm just blowing that in and putting that, that's going right through the center of my sun painting. It's like, yes. This is just a quick example of, of how we do this. And I'm going to show you my sun painting so you can see it's, it's not perfect. There's no have to, there's no specific thing. You just call on what's there in you and you blow it into a stick or it could be a flower, it could be a, anything that's combustible and you place it in your sun painting. And then you're going to leave it for Mother Earth to mulch it and work with it because you don't know, maybe the wind will come and give you a gift. Maybe something will grow up in the center of your sand painting that you didn't see before. Maybe an animal will come along and, and, and give you a gift of an acorn or something that wasn't there before. 
or maybe the wind blows blow some of it away and we don't know but what's really important is to get it out of here and onto the land. So I'm going to show you what this sun painting of mine looks like. So here you can see my sun painting, the circle that surrounds the edges and then the things that I placed in the center that I blew into. And yeah, I could go on uh, with some more things and I might well do that but for the sake of this video um, that's now I finished what I want to do with my sun painting and or at least for the time being but I can always come back and add to it if I if something else bubbles up that needs to be expressed and that now what I'm going to do I'm going to walk away and so I pull my Wiracocha off of my sand painting back up to that golden orb above my head and then I'm closing my own and pulling some of those threads down from Wiracocha, source of the sacred, to inform all of my chakras. So this is how to make a sand painting and do give it ago it's such a beautiful thing to do and so healing when i arrived in the woods i felt heavy heavy hearted and and with a lot of upset uh, and and anguish and in in my body and now having given it to the earth i feel much lighter and more able now to to feel uplifted and to uplift others, which is what we're all here for. So I hope that you you give an opportunity to yourself to do this, um, especially over the time that we're coming to. This is really important. And nature, Mother Nature, Pachamama, she will support you as she will all of us as we all go through this great transition that we're going through. So thank you for being with me and 